Hello, and welcome to our NASCO Healthcare Training Session. My name is Wendy, and next to me is our training manager, Colette. Hi. Also joining us through Zoom is Anna Bianco Lefebvre, and she is our customer service manager. We are very excited to be here, as today we are featuring two of our, of our top selling products, our periocardiosynthesis simulator and our humorous intraosseous trainer. Before we begin, please note that we are unable to assist in any Zoom technical difficulties. If you, are, if you should encounter any issues, do not worry as we are recording this for viewing and it will be available for you at a later date. Please also feel free to write any questions you might have in the chat. Anna will be monitoring it throughout our session. Khaled, I believe we can get started. Are you ready? We are ready. Excellent. Excellent, let's begin. We will begin this session with our humorous intraosseous trainer. The NASCO Healthcare Humorous IO Trainer is perfect for training the access procedure of, for fluid management through the humorous bone. Humorous access is recognized as the best alternative when IV access cannot be obtained. This realistic trainer includes the correct anatomical landmark needed to provide accurate and safe access for fluid administration. The bone is easily palpated for proper application location. The humorous IO trainer presents three positions that can be demonstrated to provide the correct simulation for application. The trainer can be used in the standing position, on the side, or the back. This trainer is simple to use with an easy to access replacement bone section and injection pad cover to support training while presenting the realism needed to make training effective. Simply remove the injection pad cover and bone. Then install the replacement bone into the socket and place the injection pad cover over the bone. Drilling with the intraosseous device will vary by manufacturer. However, this trainer will accept most devices. The humorous IO trainer includes the half torso you see here, along with a package of three replacement injection pads and three replacement bones. This trainer does include a three year manufacturer's warranty. Replacement bones and injection pads are available. For your reference, the part number for a package of replacement pads and bones is 101-206. Before moving on to our next product, do we have any questions regarding the Humorous IO trainer, Anna? Hi, Wendy. Yes, there are a couple questions here. The first one, is can blood be added to observe the flashback? And also can fluid be infused into the bone of the trainer? And um, that's actually a very, very good question. The answer to that is no. Um, the trainer is for needle placement practice only. And the other question I have here is, does this trainer come in multiple skin tones or gender options? And for that one, um, at this time, we only uh, offer a light skin tone with the male features for the options. We will now move on to our periocardiosynthesis simulator with chest tube and pneumothorax features. This simulator has been designed specifically to teach the skills needed to perform difficult periocardiosynthesis skills correctly and includes ongoing chest tube maintenance and management of pre-hospital chest trauma. This simulator includes pressurized tension pneumothorax sites and a site for surgical placement of a functional chest tube. The fluid color, volume, and viscosity 
can be controlled by the instructor. The simulator will work with any commercially available chest drain or also known as a closed water seal drainage unit. Periocardiosynthesis may be performed in the left subdiphoid space and in the left fifth intercostal space. Accurate placement of the needle will allow for the withdrawal of fluid from the simulated pericardium. This simulator includes the upper torso of a male, three fluid reservoir bags, a foot pump, five surgical skin pads, five subcutaneous surgical pads, one nurse training pad, five pneumothorax pads, three simulated pericardium bulbs, one IV bag, one blood powder package, one methyl cellulose thickener package, and a five-year manufacturer's warranty. The periocardiosynthesis simulator is simple to set up. First, we will begin by setting up the pneumothorax site. Plug the foot pump hose into the part located at the base of the trainer. Pump several times to fill the inner air bladder. The air bladder will not overinflate or rupture due to a pressure relief valve. The pneumothorax procedure may now be performed at the second intercostal space, mid clavicular line location, which is located below. the clavicle and the left side. Khaled will now demonstrate the location of the pneumothorax site with the use of a needle. The pneumothorax pad may be punctured repeatedly. The pad will eventually need to be replaced. Before proceeding, are there any questions at this time, Anna? Hi, Wendy. Um, I do not see any questions, but one thing maybe to note is the skin tone of this, this simulator um, is only offered in a light skin tone. So I know that question does come up from time to time in terms of the, the options for skin tone. So this one is only offered in a light skin tone. Thank you, Anna. Next, we will take you through the steps of setting up the chest tube insertion site feature. In a separate container, mix fluid to the desired color and consistency according to the instructions on the blood packet. Fill the reservoir bag with the mixed fluid and tightly close the top. For the purpose of this training, we have already added fluid to the reservoir bag. The reservoir bag may now be connected to the quick disconnect fitting at the base of the simulator. The chest tube procedure may now be performed using a 32 French chest tube 
which is not included. The insertion site is located at the fifth intercostal space, anterior to the mid axillary line. The site consists of an outer surgical pad, simulated ribs, and an inner subcutaneous surgical pad. Each pad can be used four times by rotating it a quarter turn after each procedure. Simply follow the included instructions on rotating the pad. You will be able to get 20 chest tube insertions with the included pads. Replacement pads are available. Those part, number, part numbers are as follows. Surgical skin pads are LS03771. Subcutaneous surgical pads are LF03772. Pneumothorax chest pads are LF03773. And the simulated pericardium is LF03768. The included nurse training pad is designed to fit under the chest skin overlay and to be used for the site care and appliance maintenance only. There is no other function for this pad. Moving on to the periocardiosynthesis feature. You will need to set up this site for training. As with the chest tube in instructions, mix fluid to the desired color and consistency. Close the clamp on the IV bag and fill with the, fill with the mixed fluid. Hang the bag no more than 18 inches above the work surface. After removing the back panel, Feed the IV bag tubing through the hole in the neck of the simulator. Attach the pericardium bulb. Open the clamp on the IV bag. Squeeze the bulb firmly two or three times to expel all air within the bulb. Now you will snap the bulb securely into the cage located inside of the body. Make sure that the clear support tube is sealed in the holder on the chest wall. Place the back panel onto the simulator, starting at the top edge. Turn the mannequin over and lay flat on the work surface. It is important to note that some leakage from the bulb may occur, especially if it has been punctured repeatedly. This leakage may be minimized by using the smallest needle size consistent with accurate training protocols. It is recommended that the bulb be rotated from time to time during use and to keep the IV bag height as low as possible. If leaking becomes severe, replacement of the bulb is required. The periocardiosynthesis simulator with chest tube and pneumothorax is now ready for training. Anna, do we have any questions on the periocardiosynthesis simulator? Hi, Wendy. I see a question here. What is the weight of the simulator in pounds? And um, that answer, actually, I have that here. Um, this simulator weighs um, less than 15 pounds. Um, so it's, it's very good to be used in any simulation room setting or in a remote location. So less than 15 pounds um, is the weight of this, this um, simulator. And I know we covered this earlier, but the warranty for this product, uh, somebody asked that question, what is the warranty? And, and that is a five-year warranty for this product here. Thank you, Anna. 
And thank you for attending our webinar today, covering the humerus intraosseous trainer and the periocardiosynthesis simulator. Practice all the essential skills needed with these two simple simulators. For additional information on the two products you have used today, please see our website at www.nascohealthcare.com or contact your regional sales director. Don't forget to follow and interact with us on social media. Are you ready? We are ready. Thank, Thank you. you.